Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back and I'm going to be reviewing a new modded SMG that I've just been testing out and it's called the Smork, uh, which is a weapon made by Soze and it's a variant of the uh, unique SMG, the Orc. Um, and it's a pretty cool SMG this one, um, corrosive SMG, so we're going to be trying it against some loaders. Decided to pull out a, a new area today because I keep going around the same areas. Uh, I like me certain testing zones for certain situations and things like that. But I thought, hey, let's go ahead and take on some Hyperion loaders in a different area for this weapon. Obviously, this gun was made by So, so it's a very well-balanced weapon, as always, uh, and it's got a few different little surprises to it, different parts to it, um, than uh, most other weapons that you're going to see, modded weapon-wise. So, uh, yeah, once we've taken on these Hyperion turrets, we can get on with most of the loader killing. But uh, before we do anything, as always, I'm going to start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this weapon. So, as always, you can click on the link in the description or you can head over to the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub, click on Borderlands 2 Mods, and then head down to Sosie's section right near the bottom um, and click in there. And then from there, find your way to the Smoke, um, which again is pretty down near the bottom. It's capital SMO and then little RC. Um, and uh, yeah, once you've clicked on that and found it, that'll take you to the weapons information page where you can see everything you need to know as well as the code to activate the, uh, the patch. Click on the raw tab at the top right of the screen and then right click and save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. Remember what you've saved it as because you're going to need to come in the game, grab yourself an orc and uh, then activate it on the console command. There you go, execute smoke.txt and that will change your orc into the smoke. Um, and this is what the weapon will look like once you've uh, actually done it. So we'll uh, get this thing on the overview so we can have a look at it. It's uh, now like a pale pink uh, kind of color rarity i don't know why he's changed it to that but uh, that is a new color definitely uh the text says me kill stuff and make noise smoke uh and there you go that is exactly what it looks like so as always i'm going to run through uh, all the changes on the uh, weapon and then let you guys know what i think of it so like i said i'm going to be carrying uh, through this run through some hyperion loaders uh, and some other guys in the highlands uh testing this weapon out so the orc most things are displayed on the card the buff of the orc that you get randomly has been changed to the following. Um, so none of this is displayed on the card and obviously um, the orc, the normal gun, um, has certain little buffs um, that happen for a little periods of time. So they happen completely randomly. Things like uh, bullets ricocheting off the floor, stuff like that. Uh, so when you're just generally firing it, you get a little extra bonuses. That is still here on this gun, but they have been changed to life still gets buffed, higher fire rate, more reload speed, more weapon damage, and infinite ammo. So all them things can randomly occur with this weapon, which was a, a change from the buff from the normal orc, which got random buffs as well. So the stuff that is on the card and will happen all the time is you'll get healing when damage dealt. So no matter uh, how many times you kill enemies, it'll always give you um, healing when you're actually dealing damage. That's not just kills, that's just damage in general. Uh, which is pretty handy it's only a small amount of healing but you can see right now i'm taking damage because i keep firing at this uh, loader uh, my health bar does stay up completely uh, you get 10 percent damage reduction from holding this gun health will drain on zoom in it's not the biggest amount of sin it's nothing like uh, some of those sniper rifles where you as soon as you zoom in your health is completely drained you only get like a second of zooming in time uh, it will hold its own and like i said even with the uh, zoom in uh, health draining as long as you keep hitting an enemy you'll see that it will uh, build your health back up pretty nicely uh, you get 100 percent critical hit damage so make sure you aim for those crit spots arms on the loaders you know the joints and uh, obviously headshots for human enemies things like that and this thing obviously being corrosive is highly effective versus armor um, he says this gun is locked to certain things and uh, he's provided a gift code for us to paste it to gift to get the right SMG. Uh, this cat gun cannot land a dot in. There is no damage over time, so no matter how much you fire at an enemy, it will not get dotted up. All it does is deal corrosive damage on impact. So pretty cool. Like I said, um, Sos is brilliant at balancing weapons, so uh, you get all those little random perks from the smoke. Uh, you get certain other bonuses 
from the weapon but then he takes away the dot effect so you can't just absolutely rip from an enemy with some uh, damage over time well balanced uh, i really have enjoyed this gun um, because it's corrosive i find that it's very very hard to kill human enemies non-loader enemies that kind of thing but uh, still who doesn't want a challenge sometimes we've uh, reviewed quite a lot of overpowered weapons so far quite a lot of well balanced weapons and uh, i do find that uh, a lot of people do like to see well balanced weapons uh, just new ideas and things like that so uh, yeah i'm glad someone has actually taken the uh, the orc and done something with it modified it um, because the orc is not a bad weapon and like i said it's quite an interesting concept with these random buffs not many other guns give you stuff like that so it's always good to modify a, a unique-ish gun anyway and then just take it a little step further and i feel that sos has done that brilliantly with this really enjoyed giving this a try out very good gun to you so uh, yeah go give it a try let me know what you think of it down in the comments below anyway thank you guys for watching for now uh, i'll be back with some more modded videos very soon so just keep an eye out for them uh, but for now thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one